Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. I've got a little bit of a different video for you today as we take a look at another one of the action figure sublines that you can collect, namely the Mythic Legions. I just got into collecting these recently and wanted to give everyone just a brief overview of what these are like. Uh, is I would definitely love to see more and more people collecting and taking pictures of these guys. So for those unfamiliar, the Mythic Legions are created and distributed by Four Horsemen Studios. And this is a smaller, more independent group of, of action figure manufacturers who have done work for McFarlane and Super 7, a lot of the other uh, action figure and collecting companies that are out there. Uh, but they create these really deluxe, really detailed fantasy universe uh, action figures uh, that are, well, a little bit more expensive, in my mind, definitely worth it. And to showcase a little bit of that for you, I have the Mythic Legion's Deluxe Gladiator on display here. Um, I actually got a deal on these guys on eBay uh, a couple weeks back, so I was able to pick this guy up for $40, where they typically retail after their initial release period for $50. And just showing this guy off in all his glory a little bit more, uh, you can see here he has a lot of individual uh, sculpt to him, uh, has this unique kind of armor piece on his shoulder, uh, as well as some space on his back there for other armor pieces that you can put on and customize uh, from other Legion action figures. You can see here that this guy has the single jointed both knees as well as elbows and some very good flexibility in those wrists as well, uh, which is definitely great as our Mythic Legions often come with a slew of extra accessories. Our Deluxe Gladiator here comes with a spear, which actually has, uh, despite just being a plain black piece of plastic, uh, a nice bit of detail on the figurehead there. And as you can see, it's actually really tall. Uh, in total, that's probably you know eight inches tall, as the figure itself is larger than your typical Hasbro Black Series or Marvel Legends release. Uh, he also comes with this nice sword, a uh, nice level of detail there for just being some plain black plastic, uh, as well as a nice little shield. And as you can notice here on the back, it comes with this little handle here that can actually pop out. Uh, so that does mean there is a little bit of a rotational axis on the back part, uh, which really helps for posability. Now our Mythic Legions figures often come with extra heads or hands, but this Gladiator here actually comes with an alternate set of feet as well. Um, I prefer this armored look that I have in, but if you want to switch things out, it's just a simple pop of the ball joint, uh, and you're able to take the alternate uh, barefoot sculpt and, and just pop that right into place. And so uh, this isn't something that our Hasbro sublines do very often. This very easy customizing as often parts are very unique to their specific sculpt. Uh, and I definitely love this kind of customizable plug and play sort of factor that the Mythic Legions line has. And when you start to pose these guys out, you'll notice that they just have a really great shelf presence. Um, they've got these nice accessories, they've got good articulations, they're made out of solid materials, have that good feel to them, uh, but can really just be a nice statement piece. And many of the Mythic Legions are, you know, different elves and orcs and fantasy creatures. Uh, I myself am a fan of, you know, more of the, the knights and the different characters and armor. Uh, that's probably because I'm like a stormtrooper, trooper builder sort of fan. Uh, but I really like this gladiator here, just kind of providing that more faceless, trooper-esque kind of character, and, and really just being able to pose him out with the spear, with the shield, with the sword, and with, you know, all the kinds of other accessories that come with your Myth of Legions figures. Uh, I think these are really fantastic, uh, obviously oriented towards a more adult collector line, um, there's definitely going to be a lot more detail. I think that's going to be appreciated by the older audience, uh, as well as just the price tag itself. Uh, you're going to recognize that when you're paying 40 to $50 for a figure, this is something that will price out most kids or younger collectors. Uh, but for those who do have disposable income and are looking for a really well-designed, uh, a really well-put-together line to begin collecting, uh, I totally do recommend this Mythic Legions line. As a final scale comparison, you'll notice here when compared to our Black Series Cassian Andor, our Mythic Legions figures do tower over them as they are more in the 7 to 7.5 seven inch scale uh, as opposed to many of the equivalent offerings. So when it comes down to that price, you're paying for a little bit more detail, those extra accessories, uh, as well as just a general larger base body sculpt. 
Now, if you're interested in picking up or just checking out the different offerings available, I do recommend checking out Store Horsemen. Uh, this is the storefront uh, that these guys are using. And many of the releases that they put together are done really only on a, a pre-order basis with then a limited release through some larger online retailers. Uh, so when they are first offered as part of a pre-order, your figures are typically costing around... 30 to, to 40 dollars and so you can definitely pre-order those there's usually about a year to an 18 month window as this is a smaller operation uh, who's working to put things together based on the quantity that's ordered uh, at the same time though with many of the hasbro figures that are released today that's kind of similar uh, in terms of the expectation for timelines and, and final delivery once that window closes, you'll often be able to find figures on outlets like Big Bad Toy Stores or at other locations uh, for a more expensive price, usually around $50. And so if there is something that you're interested, I do recommend working to get that pre-order in as if you wait longer until they're available on online retailers, you're going to be paying a few extra dollars. And once they are sold out at those locations, many of the earlier Mythic Legends releases uh, now command triple-digit prices for those sought-after or hard-to-find figures. And so uh, these guys are definitely uh, more on a release basis that you'll want to pick things up as once they're gone, you really only have the limited stock available there. So uh, if you are interested, I do recommend checking these guys out. I'm going to be following them a lot more regularly, as well as providing more reviews like this of the figures that I pick up here and there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief review of our Deluxe Gladiator. I'm going to have a couple more of these reviews as I pick up a few more figures over the next couple of months. Uh, but let me know your thoughts, your opinions on the Mythic Legions line, uh, as well as if you'll be looking to pick up some of these figures for your own someday. With that, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe as it helps grow this channel. And if you're interested for more content like this, make sure to check out some of our other action figure reviews uh, or some of our Star Wars reviews and retrospectives.